problem for me. You know, okay, when you find what you think is a contradiction, see who St. John Chrysostom was talking to one time and who he was talking to the other time. Now, if he preached in Constantinople the way he preached in the you know, sort of Bohunk village of which uh, Antioch was at that time, um, Constantinople would have laughed in scorn. If he preached the way in, in Antioch, the way he preached in Constantinople, nobody would have understood him. Mm -hmm. So he used a different type of preaching, a different way. It's like my thing with the stone bolt. The very sophisticated, educated people in Constantinople. And uh, in Antioch, uh, not so educated people, most of them were illiterate. They couldn't read. That's why it's goofy when these uh, Protestants say, oh, they should have read the Bible. And nobody could read in those days. Mm -hmm. And besides, if you had one book of the Gospel, hand copied manuscript, on vellum, it could cost you a thousand dollars of today's money. Mm -hmm. Only the rich could have a copy, but you had to be able to read for it to make any difference. That's why they started painting frescoes on all the walls. The, it, you know, canonical iconography is another form of another language in the which the scripture's been translated. That's why we have a canonical rule for icons. They have to be faithful to the scripture to, to, to do it. And it's a, to, to understand what St. John Chrysostom could uh, preach one kind of sermon called the Trumpel. He could use one kind of metaphor, fine. In Antioch, they wouldn't have understood a bit of it. So I had to preach a completely different way in Antioch. That's, uh, you know, there's a story, uh, Chrysostom was quite a lengthy preacher. I know we've gotten lengthy here to this point now. But uh, he, he preached one sermon, and then the next day, I think, he preached a sermon apologizing for the length of yesterday's sermon. And today's sermon's about five pages long. Was apologizing for preaching so long. <laughs> and so one, uh, in Antioch, I think it was, a little lady came up to him to get the cross. So it's, uh, oh, Father John, your sermons are very deep wells, and our minds have very short ropes. <laughs> 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 so you see, that's the difference. In the way it is, it, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway. I'm sorry, I talked too long, but uh, I've got a question before everybody rebels. <laughs> That's where it popped on it. Initially, me to call the blessed Theotokos, ever blessed and most pure and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious without compare than the seraphim. Without corruption, thou givest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. Glory to Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, be God is with us by His grace and love for mankind. Always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Is polite despot. Lamutam Radhika, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I think today how much I missed Nina and Obito Obito. Yeah, we do. Yeah. They li they watch uh, the liturgies from back home. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, since we're going to go back there, we'll have. Yeah, yeah. I want to. We'll have to copy the form of the the. No power. It just, we just lost power again. Uh, no, well, this is not power. It's a shame. <laughs> 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 oh, okay, so I, I put in the spread of the... Okay.